Pre-messenger RNA splicing, the removal of non-coding introns, is a central step in gene expression. Abnormal splicing is increasingly implicated in numerous human diseases. Splicing is a two-step reaction and involves conserved RNA residues of the branch point sequence and the 5' and 3' splice sites found in the intron between two exons that will become part of the mature messenger RNA. Highly dynamic spliceosome machinery assembles in an orderly fashion and catalyzes each two-step splicing reaction. In this visualization, we will focus on five pivotal structures solved by the Yi Gong Shi group. These are the spliceosomal assembly particle and four conformational states of the assembled spliceosome. The cerevisiae yeast trisnerp, the activated complex B act, the catalytic step 1 spliceosome C complex, the step 2 catalytically activated complex C star, and the Pombi intron lariat spliceosome. The heart of the spliceosome is the active site, whose positioning of the catalytic magnesium ions and RNA residues suggests that it shares common evolutionary ancestry with the self splicing intron. In the trisnerp, the U80 catalytic residue is held in an inactive conformation via sequestration in the U4 U6 duplex where coordination of magnesium ions is prevented, and via PRP3 protein, which binds this region. Meanwhile, recognition of the 5' exon in this structure occurs via loop 1 of U5 RNA, and the 5' splice site via a motif in the U6 RNA. The 5' exon and 5' splice site are recognized similarly in the BIAC complex and are stabilized by CWC21 and PRP8 and CWC24 and PRP11. Recognition of the intron and branch point sequence occurs via the U2 RNA and the proteins RDS3 and HSH155, which binds the pyrimidine rich 3' end. PRP11 contacts the BPS U2 duplex. In the active site, coordination of magnesium ions via U6 nucleotides is incomplete. The M1 ion is yet to be loaded. Importantly, catalytic latency in B-ACT is maintained by a 50 angstrom gap, spanned by CWC24 and PRP11, which shield the 5' exon and splice site junction, as well as the res complex and SF3B, which encircles the BPS. In the C-complex, pre-mRNA recognition is similar to B-ACT, the intron lariat has formed as a result of the first step reaction, while the freed 5' exon is anchored and stabilized by CWC21, 22, and PRP8 switch loop. In the lariat, the BPS 2' oxygen is seen joined to the 5' end phosphate of the 5' splice site. In the nearby active site, the 3' end of the 5' exon is activated by the M1 ion. However, the lariat junction still lingers, and the intron 3' exon phosphodiester bond, which is to be cut in the second step reaction, is yet to be loaded. Meanwhile, the intron U2 duplex is recognized by PRP8, which also coordinates with the U2 SM ring and CWC25 whose alpha helical rod extends from the RNA's H-like domain deeply into the active site. Importantly, these step 1 factors and proteins which are inserted into and stabilize the active site conformation form a scaffold onto which multiple RNA elements are placed. Moreover, they directly contact the BPS U2 duplex. During the C to C star complex transition, several major remodeling events occur. While the BPS U2 duplex is rotated and displaced, the Lariat junction moves to vacate space for the incoming 3' exon. As a result, step 1 factors, which were inserted into the active site and which were in direct contact with the BPS U2 duplex, are dissociated. These events are executed with the help of an RNA helicase, which presumably pulls the 3' end of the Lariat to trigger the dissociation of step 1 factors and the translocation of the PRP8 RNA's H-like domain. 
Consequently, the RNA stage like domain may help move the BPS U2 duplex, and then step 2 factors which move to interact with this domain may together help deliver the 3' splice site into the active site. The C star complex reveals plausible accommodation of the 3' exon between the 5' exon and 1585 loop, which appears to stabilize it, together with the beta hairpin, allowing the 3' splice site to enter the active site for the second catalytic step. Comparative visualization of RNA elements recapitulates some of the spatial logic underlying splicing. The U80 catalytic residue is held sequestered within a U4-U6 duplex. Latency is maintained by a 50 angstrom gap between the BPS and the 5' splice site. The BPS U2 duplex is then seen moved into the active site where the bond with the 5' splice site is formed. The Lariat junction is seen dislodged, finally favoring 3' exon delivery. The location of the Lariat junction is similar between the ILS and C star complexes, suggesting minor structural changes from C star to P to the ILS. Meanwhile, comparative visualization of the active site recapitulates the chemistry and logic underlying the catalysis of splicing. Despite latency and magnesium ion coordination, the 5' exon is already anchored. Next, the intron lariat covalent bond is formed, while M2 is seen 6 angstroms away from the BPS nucleophile. At the 5' exon, the M1 ion is seen activating the second step nucleophile, an arrangement which is mostly preserved in C star. Space is now available for the 3' splice site, and the second step reaction can proceed. Finally, similarity in the location of the Lariat junction is evident after release of the mature spliced mRNA. A comparative morph of PRP8 domains visualizes functional insights into the central hub and scaffold. The RNA's H-like, jab, switch loop, and N-terminal domains first undergo pronounced rearrangements, reflecting unwinding of the U4-U6 duplex, stabilization of the 3' exon, and formation of the active site. The RNA's H-like domain then moves to recognize the intron U2 duplex while coordinating with proteins at the active site. It then acts to displace the duplex, allowing insertion of the 3' splice site. Finally, its movement and that of the switch loop culminates in the release of the 5' exon and mRNA. PRP8 belongs to the U5 SNRP. This segment compares spliceosomal subcomplexes further. The assembly particle U465 trisnerp, BACT, which incorporates NTC, NTR, and other subcomplexes, C complex, which incorporates step 1 factors, C star, which incorporates step 2 factors, and the ILS, the intron lariat spliceosome. Examination of the characterized complexes allows for modeling of pre-mRNA splicing at the level of RNA conformation, including P star and P conformations, which are likely to be more transient. Analysis suggests that remodeling may be particularly dramatic during the transition from B act to B star, reflecting movement of the BPS U2 duplex, as the nucleophile is directed into the active site. From B star to C, during the branching reaction, remodeling is expected to be minor. Major remodeling is again seen from C to C star, as the Lariat junction is moved from the active site to make room for the 3' splice site. Thereafter, minor remodeling is expected during the exon ligation reaction and leading up to the release of the mature messenger RNA. Consideration of a mechanistic model of splicing suggests a sequence of events at the level of protein components. Initially, the step 1 branching reaction cannot proceed, while the two reactive moieties are separated by a shielded 50 angstrom gap, a structural feature presumably tailored for alternative splicing and selection of branch sites. The RNA helicase PRP2 likely pulls the intron, triggering the release of intron-associated res and SF3B complexes, and the exposure of the BPS nucleophile, as well as the removal of PRP11 and CWC24, 
which took part in maintaining catalytic dormancy. Recruitment of step 1 factors enables interactions at the active site which place the nucleophile close to the cecyl phosphodiester bond. The branching reaction can proceed, yielding the intron lariat and freeing the 5' exon. In preparation for exon ligation, the RNA helicase PRP16 moves in to presumably pull the intron lariat, facilitating movement of the PRP8 RNA's H-like domain and dissociation of step 1 factors, as well as the required relocation of the lariat junction. Recruitment of step 2 factors shares in the selection and insertion of the 3' splice site into the spliceosome active site. As a consequence of these choreographed events, exon ligation can be realized, yielding the mature or spliced messenger RNA. Finally, the helicase PRP22, which grabs and pulls the 3' exon, is required further to trigger mRNA release. Ultimately, the intron lariat spliceosome will be disassembled by additional RNA helicase machinery. And the splicing cycle, which cells and eukaryotic life centrally depend on, will be orchestrated again.